Guys, welcome to your CodePen account. I made this quick video just to sort of walk you through how it's going to work. You click Make a New Pen, and you've got this environment for editing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript live right on the screen. H1 gets entered in the HTML panel, and as you learn CSS, we'll learn how to apply styles to that H1 element, change the font or capitalization, obviously anything you would do with type design, even kerning the type with letter spacing, the CSS property. This is a nice tool because it is in the cloud, but you're seeing immediately what your design intentions are. And this makes it great for trying new things. Um, there's lots of handy keyboard shortcuts that make this tool very easy and fluid to use. And using design, even exploring advanced features like RGBA colors, which allow for transparency in your color selections or moving things behind and in front of other objects. It's a rich playground. It has this tool where you can add JavaScript libraries. Here we're adding green sock. That's the animation tool I'm going to teach you. It's a very simple syntax. A single command allows us to specify the element we want to animate, how long we want the animation to take, and then between a pair of squiggly braces, essentially the CSS uh, properties that we want to animate over time. Let me tidy this up a little bit. So here we're animating the H1 over three seconds, and we're starting from a scale of zero. We could start from a rotation. Perhaps we flip it all the way around. Or perhaps we add in more detail, like moving it up from the bottom of the screen, X and Y being simple Cartesian coordinates. There's just enough syntax, squiggly braces, semicolons to scare you. But it's such a simple and repetitive recipe, it makes learning animation very easy. Now, one thing that will drive you crazy about TweenMax is that every time you type a command, it starts to replay the animation. But under the Settings button, uh, TweenMax al allows us the ability to turn off uh, the automatic updating, and instead we receive a Run button. You can see it up here in the upper left. Now the animation will only play when I run it, and this can be a handy, if somewhat hidden, tool just to keep things um, clean and you can focus on the code. Now you'll notice when we have two tweens, and they both happen at the same time. Tweens are just like dance steps in choreography, and you'll learn to string lots of these commands together and organize them by adding a delay property. So in other words, we'll have the first tween happen, we'll delay three seconds, and then have this second portion fade everything out. So there you have the briefest introduction uh, to a tool that I think will make it so much easier to learn code, because you can see uh, how your code translates to design almost instantly. There's lots of features in TweenMax. You can save this whole thing out as a folder of actual code ready to sort of dump onto your server. Behind the scenes, CodePen does everything we need to package it all up and get it nice and tidy. That's it. I think you're really going to enjoy this tool. It makes learning so much quicker. If you have your account, visit this link, and you can make a copy or a fork of my project and continue playing with it. I'll see you on Tuesday.